Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do an empties review. I have a lot of stuff in here. I have a lot of toiletries, a lot of bath and body, a lot of skincare. I don't know if I have a lot of makeup. I don't really see any makeup, but I just want to sit down and talk to you guys. I haven't done a video in such such a long time. I've been going through a lot of stuff um, with family. Like, you know, everybody goes through that stuff, but I feel like I needed to take more time off. But, you know, now I just I just want to sit down, talk to you guys, you know, try to build a channel, try to um, tell you guys products that I like, didn't like, try out stuff, you know, do fun stuff with you guys. Like, I don't know, I just love sitting here. I love, um, I love talking, I talk a lot. So I thought it would be great to just do a video, you know, kind of just, you know, lift myself up and just, just talk, you know? Uh... Because I know a lot of people that do YouTube video, they do it just to kind of like get away from what's going on with family, you know. There's a lot of deaths, a lot of deaths in my family last year and it was just very, very difficult for me. Um, right now, I know the scenery may not look good like most YouTubers, but this chair plays a significant role in my life. Uh, maybe one day I'll open up and I'll tell you guys why I decided to kind of just film in this chair. No, nah, I don't want to cry. Anyways, so I don't want to get too emotional right now. I just want to sit down and, yeah, tell you guys the products that I loved using, didn't like using. Um, and, yeah, so I'm just going to pick a random product and I want to talk about this. <laughs> this is the Jason Healthy Mouth Tartar Control Cinnamon Clove. My favorite, favorite, favorite mouthwash. Um, I buy this at Sprouts. It's a bit pricey. It's $10. But I like it because there's times when I eat a lot of sugar, like a lot of sugary desserts that I shouldn't be eating. And there's just something about like, like kind of like cane. Like, no, not cane. Like I think white sugar that kind of triggers just a random tooth in my mouth and it just hurts. So what I do... Well, what I should be doing is going to the dentist, but the thing that I like to do to kind of like prevent me from going to the dentist, this is kind of like a temporary fix, I guess. Um, I'll brush my teeth, I'll floss, and then I'll use this, and it goes away. I think it's the tea tree oil that kind of just kills the bacteria, and, um, and it works. I really like it. My husband loves it. It has no parabens, gluten, harsh sulfates, phthalates. I think I'm saying that right. Petrolatum. I think that's what it's called. But it says it's the new look. I don't I don't even know what the old look was, but I really, really like it. It has aloe vera gel to soothe the gums and it really, really works. Does it whiten the teeth? Um it doesn't say anything about whitening the teeth, but it's more of tartar control, which I'm I'm all for it. So favorite mouthwash. Throw it to the side. Um, shampoo. I know this is the Head and Shoulders. It's the Smooth and Silky um, Conditioning Line. I know a lot of people kind of like, I notice they kind of like freak out a little, little when I tell them that I use Head and Shoulders because they're kind of like, whoa, you have dandruff. And it's not that I have dandruff. I mean, I don't have dandruff. I think maybe because I use this. I don't know. Um, it's just that I like how it leaves my hair. It leaves it like a sink smooth and silky like it really works it's the only line that i like from head and shoulders i've tried all the other scents but i just feel like they don't leave my hair as smooth and less free like less way less frizzy so i always use these two but i mean i do use other shampoos but this is just the one that i like to use you know every two days and it really cleans the scalp it has a beautiful scent the scent lingers i feel like for me a shampoo if the scent's not there by the next day like i don't know i kind of just i just don't want to use it i feel like i need to have some type of like perfume or scent in my hair so love these two i don't have dandruff i don't have dandruff um shaving cream okay this is by Trader Joe's. This is the moisturizing cream shave for men and women. This is honey mango with aloe vera and vitamin E. It's paraben free, 100% vegetarian. Uh, if I could remember, this was kind of like a, yeah, like a lotion. Um, I kind of like these uh, shaving creams just because the foams, I feel like it tends to kind of just like 
fall off or just wash away especially when my hair is like dangling like this like the water from my hair like the drips it kind of like washes it away but these tend to stick more to your skin um it didn't irritate my skin the scent was really subtle like i can't say nothing bad about this i really enjoyed it and it was like it wasn't even that pricey so if you want to try something that's inexpensive and actually works go to your local trader joe's another shaving cream okay i do not like the shaving cream at all this is the dr bronner's lavender organic shaving soap horrible shaving cream horrible 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 i do not like it i don't even know if i got a bad batch i don't even want to go and purchase another one to make sure i didn't get a bad batch but this is a very 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 runny uh shaving soap i know it's a soap so of course i was like it's going to be liquid but i didn't think it was going to be so liquidy like this was so liquidy that i would have to open it like this and just go like that because if you were to go like this all the product would just come out and I feel like you would waste way more product I did like that it was a soap um, it was a bit different but since it lathered I can kind of see where I was shaving the lavender I did feel like you know it straight up smelled like lavender but I felt like it was a little too strong for my legs like I felt like they were just a bit a tad bit irritated so but that's not the reason why i wouldn't purchase it the reason i wouldn't purchase it was because it's just so runny that um it just no i'm not gonna i'm just not gonna go with with this again i like the dr bronner's brand but i just do not like this one Ooh, okay something i did like this is the bio peel gauze peel and green tea by neogen dermo dermology um I enjoy these these are so so good I really want to try the red wine and the lemon one there this one I think was for sensitive skin I don't know maybe I'm making that up but it doesn't like burn your face that's what I liked about these pads and it lasted me such a long time I think let me see one side was like an exfoliating side and then the other side was like a softer side which I would use the exfoliating side and then whatever like gunk I would see I would use the smoother side and kind of just remove it off um wasn't irritating like I said um it did brighten the face I could totally tell a difference I would use these in the night and then in the morning I would wake up with just like really nice glowy skin um I don't remember how much these were I feel like they were were a little pricey um you can buy these at sephora or amazon but i would definitely buy these again because oh and they really do smell like green tea like it's, it smells so good so yes for me thumbs up oh look another dandruff shampoo uh i think that's it yes this is another shampoo i go through these a lot um deodorant let's talk about pits let me see i think i only have two yes okay i only have two this is the schmidt's charcoal and magnesium mineral enriched natural deodorant i loved it but i don't i don't think i'm going to repurchase it just because i think because of the charcoal because let me see if i if you can see oh wait uh, yeah like look i think because of the darkness or the like the colors like kind of grayish when you would put it on your armpit like it would kind of clump up and then that clump would transfer onto your shirts and it would make my shirts really dark like i had to get rid of them because the stain would just not come out i think it's because of the charcoal i'm not sure my husband also used this deodorant and his shirts are just like yellow and dark and I'm just like Ugh. so that's kind of the reason why I just I'm not gonna purchase these again but I really did think that it worked well not think it did work uh, my pits didn't smell uh, of course I mean I did sweat but it controlled the stench so I mean that's what I liked about these maybe 
just maybe I would purchase this deodorant to use when I'm exercising like it's okay if it stains my exercise clothes because I mean I exercise indoors either way so nobody's going to look at me so I think that's probably maybe that's maybe when I will purchase this but other than that I will not purchase this to wear on like my good clothes because <sighs> it stained a lot of my good shirts and I just had to throw it away because I would just rub it and rub it rub it with a like a cleaning gel solution from the store and it just it would not go away so maybe for sports but definitely not for just regular everyday use and it did not irritate my pits that's a good thing it did not irritate it worked with the smell but just it's it's an enemy for clothes especially white clothes uh what's this okay this is the lumine nordic sea glow luminescence brightening beauty lotion i bought this at target i bought it last year like in january like i went to fresno and their target was having like a whole bunch of skincare on sale like this was like i think like seven bucks but i think regular price i think it's like in the 20s um i was kind of confused about this product i'm not really sure if this was a toner because, I mean, it doesn't say a toner unless a brightening beauty lotion is a toner. Like, I'm not I'm not sure what a beauty lotion meant. Like, I'm not sure if this was supposed to, like, replace my moisturizer. So, I kind of just used it as a toner. Like, that's how I straight up used it. And it's supposed to... I don't even know it's supposed to hydrate, exfoliate... It just says it contains vitamin C, wild Arctic cloudberry, hyaluronic acid, Arctic spring water. But I'm, I was honestly really confused with this product. But I mean, I could have just researched it, but I didn't want to because I kind of just hoped it said it right here. It probably said it on the package and I just threw the package away. But yeah, I would not repurchase this because I saw no difference in my skin. So, no, no. Oh, look at another... Oh wait, no, no, this is another shampoo, sorry. This is the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Long and Strong Shampoo for longer hair, faster, faster strengthens hair anti-breakage formula. It's sulfate, paraben, and dye-free. Just read everything, might as well. It has biotin, horse chestnut, seed extract, and multivitamin complex. Did it make my hair grow? No. Um, I actually feel like this dried out my ends, like my ends, usually like this part, it's okay it's kind of like more on the greasier side but i feel like my ends they were just they were just so bad so dry uh my sister i actually gave her one i don't know why i repurchased it but i gave it to her and she said i don't know she said that her hair grew faster uh i i couldn't tell you because i don't live with her but that's what she said um but I mean, I feel like on our side, our hair grows fast, so maybe it's in our head. I don't know. I did like the smell. It smells like, I think, like apples or berries. Oh, this one doesn't smell anymore. But I think it smells like apples. I think this has apples in it. Mm, okay, maybe it doesn't have apples in here. I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe it's berries. I don't know. But I would never purchase this if this is not for me. So, yeah. Nope. Okay, green tea moisturizer by Wa Wa Wamisa? Wamisa by Glow Recipe. Um, I actually have the toner. I love the toner. It's amazing. This moisturizer is great for the summer if you have like combination to oily skin. If you have really, really dry skin, this is not going to help you out at all. Um, it's a lightweight, oil-free, fast-absorbing moisturizer that, that, that leaves skin hydrated without heaviness this does get absorbed really fast like this is one of those moisturizers that you put on and it's like like you put it on your forehead or you just put it on your cheeks and it just won't spread out to the rest of your um skin because it's it's just already gone so what i like to do is dab 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 and um just what's that i don't even know what i'm talking about uh i'm having like a brain fart right now spread it spread it into my skin whatever you know what i mean um i don't remember if it's expensive i think maybe 15 dollars. you can get it at target i'm not i'm not sure but it was a great moisturizer definitely use it in the summer right now this baby is just not going to help me at all so there's that one 
Uh, Pure Lace. This is the Blue Lotus Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Essential Daily Moisturizer. I think I showed you guys this product like a year ago or a year and a half ago when I went to Ipsy like we got these for free I really did like this moisturizer especially the SPF 30 because I'm really bad at putting SPF like really bad like it says it doesn't leave a white tint it was perfect under makeup it didn't like ball up or anything um, and it protects and moisturizes for normal dry sensitive skin I would purchase this but I mean, I think this is a pretty pricey product. I don't remember, but I would I would I would purchase this if if I had the money. But uh, or a coupon code. But I think you guys would like it, especially if you're looking for sunblock slash moisturizer. Like I said, that doesn't leave a white tint. So maybe one day in the future, I would definitely repurchase this again. Skin Fix. Okay, this is the foaming oil cleanser. I really, really love this. I use a cleansing oil when I want to take off my makeup and then I go in with a wash. But I felt like this was kind of like, a, you know, it's like a two-in-one. So you didn't need to use a cleansing oil. You could just use this product. And I felt like it was fantastic. It worked. Um, right now, I think, I don't know if it worked because I was using a like a cleansing tool like it's like a vibrating cleansing tool that removes like all the gunk i don't know if it's worked because of that like i don't know if it would work better if you used your fingers but i mean i really liked it i would definitely repurchase this again i don't even know if this does this line even exist i think i bought this at ulta but i haven't seen this at ulta but really liked it very moisturizing doesn't leave the face dry love the packaging i don't even know what happened to the cap but this is good oh look at more hair and scalp this is conditioner oh my gosh i have another one i don't have dandruff believe me oof it's a lot of dust um more skincare oh, i'm sorry this is Big Plus Yara Apothecary Pomerosa Charcoal Facial Cleanser. It's a naturally antibacterial sulfate-free detoxifying cleanser for a non-dry deep clean that also contributes to cellular health and regeneration. Um, still have like a little bit left right there. I don't know if you can see. I like this as a morning cleanser. If you were to use this as a night to kind of just remove everything on your face, sorry, that's not going to work. I feel like this was way more gentler for the morning, especially if you don't want to like really go in with a very foamy cleanser this was very light i kind of bought this because it had charcoal and i thought it would help me with acne but it didn't so um yeah i would not repurchase it again but if you're looking for just something uh you know to wash your face in the morning without over drying or overdoing it this would be great bought it at target um a, what is this a toner this is a rose water toner oh i have a lot of rose stuff in here yeah i went through this phase like in the summer like last year or in the beginning of the summer i went a little crazy i really like the smell of roses i have another one right here um let's just start with this one uh, this was a toner I don't even know who's it by i bought this at target it was on sale was $12.99 i bought it for $9.06 don't even know the brand s oh sw basics i did not like this this burnt my face that's all i can say about this product um this one's by andalou naturals i really really like um their brand so good i love their creams their toners this is the 1000 roses body butter but to me it kind of smelled like chocolate it really didn't smell like roses maybe it was the cocoa butter maybe it was the cocoa butter i was smelling but it was very light moisturizing um and yeah I, I really liked it left your skin really smooth and then this was their 1000 roses beautiful day cream very light as well very moisturizing i moisturizing for like the summer not for winter winter it's too light um did not break out sat great under makeup and then this was their 1000 Roses Floral Toner. Um, really like this. I use this two ways. Usually after I would wash my face in the night, I would go in with a cotton pad, go take off all my makeup, 
And then in the morning, what I would do is I would actually spray it on my face before I would go in with a moisturizer just to kind of lock in all that hydration. So I like this one. And then we're almost done. Okay. Oh, what is this? Another Andalus product. This is the Coconut Water Firm Cleanser. I am guess this is the quenching um, line. It's, yeah, I use this as, what did I do? I use this in my shower because I have like three cleansers or four no I have three I have one in my shower one in my cabinet and one in my other bathroom and this one was really light it did not dry my face out at all it foamed nicely um smell like coconuts so I mean the packaging is really beautiful so I like this one too okay the next product is by Pacifica Hawaiian Ruby Guava Ho this is the Hawaiian Ruby Guava perfumed hair and body mist um, this doesn't have alcohol in it, so I think, you know, it doesn't last that long, but I actually like it. I feel like it's a watered down perfume, but the scent is there, like it's strong. I like to use this as my after the gym workout because there's times when I, I know it's disgusting, but I don't shower right away. Like I want to go do other things before I shower. So I'll spray this all over my body and I feel refreshed. Um, it just, it smells like a vacation in a bottle. A vacation that I can't afford, so I like to spray this all over my body so I can feel like I'm on vacation. It's, it's really good. Um, it doesn't have any, does it have any bad stuff? No, I don't, I don't know if it's, yes, it's cruelty free. That, that, that's all I know, but I think it's like 12 bucks at Target. I'm already on my second one. Like this one. Uh, another Pacifica. This is the Happy Essence Hydro Mist. Refresh and fight the look of fatigue. Plus coconut water, green tea, and berry happy extract. It smells like straight up berries. My husband actually thought this was a perfume. And he was like, spray it all over your body. And I'm like, no, this is an essence for your face. It smells awesome. Um, so yeah, so I would just spray it, tap it in. Same thing, I would spray it. Then go in with a moisturizer. Did not make me break out. Was not, um was not a whatchamacallit over well, here with my whatchamacallit does not keep having brain farts does not irritate my skin there you go um uh, yeah i was a happy camper with this um serums okay i don't know if i mentioned these on my channel before but this is a product by coachella coachella naturals it's two vitamin c serums right here i only like to use vitamin c serum in the in the summer I don't like to use vitamin C serum in the winter I change it once we get to winter or fall I, I'll use hyaluronic acid but I feel for like the summer since I'm always in the Sun when I shouldn't be at the wrong time um, I feel like my freckles and like any dark spots that I have they just like peekaboo they come out and they just want to stay there so when I use the vitamin C serum I feel like it helps kind of just just calm them down a bit you know like put them away they're still there but they're just not as uh dark so that's why i like to use any vitamin c serum i feel like works works okay but these i really like these these work these were awesome oh ooh, i don't want to break them okay two more skin fix products this is the foaming click cleanser and this is the moisture boost serum love this serum it was very hydrating um sat great under makeup not irritating it went on the skin beautiful and then the clay cleanser was very detoxifying i would use this as my shower um face wash i felt like it did help remove like any gunk any leftover makeup any traces of just whatever shouldn't even be on your face anymore at a certain time it was very awesome like these two products oh look at here's another deodorant i really i don't even want to go there i'm back with the cleansing okay <clears throat> this is the ugh, it's a bunch of hairs. No wonder I'm going bald. Okay, this is the melon foaming cleanser. It has cantaloupe melon, turmeric, vitamin B12, licorice root extract, and it's for all skin types. And this is like their brightening line. <sighs> I think this product was really pricey. I think I want to purchase it again. I really do, but I just don't have the money to purchase this. It uh, was a very beautiful cleanser very beautiful and I just wish it didn't have to go what I liked about this I'm just looking at that this has um like a batch number and it tells you when it was made so that way you know you can 
throw it away when it needs to be thrown away which i don't know if this is like 12 months yeah this is 12 months i finished this baby less than 12 months um i would use this day and night it was very gentle to use in the day it was a foaming cleanser of course but it didn't dry out my skin i felt and i noticed that my skin was way brighter when i used this but now i think i'm just gonna have very dull skin now um will i ever purchase this product heck yeah wait till i become a millionaire i'm gonna purchase a lot of these for now goodbye okay oh my gosh there's a bunch of hair derma e okay this is the derma e nourishing rose cleansing oil organic argan jojoba oils <sighs> this is the only cleansing oil that i used i got a sample when i went to ipsy I fell in love i buy it at ulta i think it's only like Sometimes I have it on sale and then sometimes I get it even cheaper because like I have a 20% off coupon. Um, doesn't clog the skin at all. What I like about this cleanser is when you go to remove it, like it kind of turns like milky and that's what I like and it doesn't leave my skin like really greasy. Like, like oh, like I have an urge to really wash my face like fast. Like I could use this and then like brush my teeth and then I can wash my face. But awesome does not break out my skin i have like three more of these um okay two more products and we're done two more products and you guys can leave you guys can go do what you guys have to do homework homework i know a lot of people have to do homework um dr hoshka rose deodorant gentle natural protection well that's what it does i like this deodorant but again, I think this is a pricey deodorant and I can't afford to buy this again. It's made without aluminum. Like, I prefer roll-on deodorants than stick deodorants. Like, this did not leave my underarms yellow or dark. It smelled like roses. Um, I'll show you the roller ball. Make sure there's no little hair on it. Yeah, it's the roller ball. Um... It lasts me a while. It's like a creamy deodorant. That's what I liked about it. Like because I think because it was a creamy deodorant, it didn't irritate my skin at all. Like I felt fresh. Like oh, I wish I could purchase more of these. But like I said, when I become a millionaire, I'm gonna purchase these these products I can't afford now anymore. Um, last product. Boop boop. Someone has to go do homework. Um, this is the chai tea serum and cream anti-aging nourishing by glow recipe. I bought this on sale. I think it was like five, six bucks. Um, again, it's a two in one product. It's serum to cream. It feels more like a cream, which is kind of more, more, more moisturizing. The only thing is that again, it's just for summer. Um, it's not for winter. It's um, you can use this as your serum and then go in with your cream. Does it smell like chai? No, it does not, but it's okay. I like the packaging. It has the little, what's the thing? It's, I know what it's called. <sighs> okay, I don't know what it's called. I think the train is passing by. I'm so sorry. But anyways, I don't know if they sell this anymore. I think sometimes I feel like when Target sells stuff like on super clearance, I feel like it's because they're not coming back with that product. So I mean, if you could get your hands on this, I think you would like it. Oh, it's called Anise. Anise. Star Anise. I think I just remembered Anise. Ha. Yeah, I think it's called Anise. Anyways, that was it. That was the last product. No more. I gotta clean this basket. It's filthy. It's disgusting. You don't even know. You don't even want to know what's in here. Like. I don't know why, but there's batteries. There's a Star Wars pencil. Yeah, I'm not even... There's a DS charger. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if that's dead. Anyways, that's it, you guys. Thank you for sitting down or laying down or in class watching me. Um, I appreciate you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, it doesn't take that long for me to do another video. But I will see you guys hopefully soon. I want to say soon. And yeah, I got a bunch of stuff to pick up. But thumbs up, people. Pass those tests because I know the semester is about to end. And yeah i send you guys lots of love lots of love lots of knowledge you guys can do it 
so yeah i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching and you guys have a nice beautiful day bye